There's a lot of confusion out there about the concept of using different brands or models of solar panels in the same solar panel system. So let's clear this up and learn what happens when you mix different solar panels together. If you're watching this video, hopefully you already have a very basic understanding of how solar works. If not, click the link in the top right corner for my beginner solar video that has over 3 million views, and then check out the other Solar for Beginners videos on my channel for various specific topics related to solar, like wiring in series and parallel. So with that basic understanding of wiring in series or parallel, we know that when you wire identical solar panels in series, you will increase the voltage and the current stays the same. And when you wire identical solar panels in parallel, you'll increase the current and the voltage stays the same. But what happens if you wire different solar panels in series or parallel? Now let's look at an example. Here's a small system with five solar panels that are all 100 watts. If those five panels are identical and you wire them in series, the final voltage is 90 volts and the final current is 5.56 amps. But if one of those panels is a different brand, but still a 100 watt panel, things are different. If the voltage of the oddball panel is lower than the rest, but the current is higher, the overall voltage will drop a little bit, but you get no benefit from the higher current of that panel. So we lost over 7 watts in this scenario. Or, if the oddball panel is a higher voltage than the other panels, but a lower current, you'll end up with a higher total voltage, but all of the current in that series has to pass through that one panel with lower current, and it drags the whole system down to that level. You can see that we lost 13 watts in this scenario. Now let's look at a parallel connection. Here's the same 5 panel system with identical 100 watt panels. The final voltage is 18 volts, and the total current is 27.8 amps. Again, if we swap one of those panels out for a different brand 100 watt panel, we lose power. When the voltage of the oddball panel is lower, but the current is higher, we end up with a lower voltage because the whole system drops to the voltage of the weakest panel. The total current is higher, but not enough to compensate for the overall drop in voltage, and we're left with a net loss of over 22 watts. Or, if the oddball panel is a higher voltage, but a lower current, we get no benefit from that higher voltage, and take a slight hit in overall current, which nets us a loss of about 4 watts on the whole system. So when you're looking at mixing different solar panels together, make sure you're very familiar with the technical specs of the solar panels in question. Because those numbers will be critical in figuring out what your final output should be and whether you would benefit from wiring in series or parallel. In summary, your real world output when you mix solar panels will always be less than just adding up the total wattage of all the panels. But that doesn't mean you should never do it or that it would be harmful. It's just less efficient. We didn't talk about scenarios where you may want to introduce some much smaller solar panels to an existing system, but you should be able to take the principles we discussed and quickly find out that's a very bad idea. But maybe you got a screaming deal on some solar panels that are the same size as the ones you already have and you want to add them to your system. You will add power to the system no matter how you wire it. It just won't add as much as it should. Ideally, if you absolutely have to use different models or brands of solar panels in the same system, you should separate them into two pipes, for lack of a better term. Use them in separate pipes, or strings, that are wired to separate inverters or charge controllers, depending on whether it's a grid-tied or off-grid system. Obviously that costs more, but it will ensure that you get all the power from those additional panels. Thanks for watching this video. If you learned something or found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a comment.